Ahem. Okay, so I thought I would announce this here on my vlogging channel first because you guys have stuck with me through all of the tiny, little, and really, really big things. So over the last few months, I obviously haven't been as active online as I usually am. One of the major reasons for that was obviously because I broke my leg, but the other reason I have not been able to share with everyone. I finished university in May 2016, and as soon as I handed in my dissertation, which is the last big essay you do at university, I immediately started working on my new project, which is a young adult book series, which which will probably be about five in total. That's how I have it planned at the moment. And it's something I've always wanted to write. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to have amazing management, I know I go on about them all the time, but they're incredible, who introduced me to Penguin, who are very enthusiastically publishing this series, and I'm having the best time working with them. They totally get what I'm going for, and all the tones, and the kind of themes I want in this book. So I finished the first book about a week ago, and of course I vlogged as much of it as possible in preparation to share with you guys when I could finally announce it, so you'll be able to watch that in a minute. The series is titled The Rosewood Chronicles, and you can actually already pre order it if you check out in the description box below there's a bunch of links so this is the holding art until we have the official title of book one and the official cover art which will be coming sometime this year so I want to keep this as mysterious as possible at the moment I don't want to give too much away about the plot but if you want to find out more about the story and the characters there's a little bit of information in those links in the description box before I send you to this massive vlog I just want to say one massive thank you so much to all of you for being so incredibly patient as you you have with me these last few months whilst I finished my first book it really means so much to me because none of you knew what I was working on you had no idea that it was taking up this much time but you were all so kind and encouraging and supportive and I'm just really excited for you guys to read it I can't wait I really hope you love it as much as I do these characters have become like my children yeah I'm just really excited that's all I can say I just can't wait for you guys to come on this journey it's gonna be wild all right let's go to this vlog Hey, good morning guys. It's uh, November 2nd and I've decided I'm going to start vlogging this writing experience. I said a few days on Twitter I was going to do that. So yeah, I have no idea when this is going to go up because obviously I can't really talk about it. I'm already halfway through. Um, let me show you. Da -da! Look, here I am. Ba -bum. So there we are. That is my, I've got nearly 43,000 words but I'm imagining it's gonna be between 80 and 90K, and my deadline is the 12th of December, so I'm just writing as much as I can. <laughs> but it's really interesting as well, because a lot of my friends are really into writing, and a lot of them have had like a bit of a writer's block recently, and just the fact that I'm kind of doing this has got all of them writing as well, which is just really exciting. So it's this nice little kind of, you're in the fridge right now, guys. It's this nice kind of creative environment where everyone's working on something, which is a good feeling. I think Ellen has my favorite mug and I definitely write better when I have my favorite mug. <laughs> Ellen, do you have my strawberry mug? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you. This is the magical writing mug. This is where my inspiration comes from. <laughs> okay, so I got my tea, I got some breakfast. Yeah, today my goal is to get this whole scene done, which is set in the library, which is my absolute favorite place in the whole book. I don't know what I'm allowed to tell you guys. It's uh, the bit where Jamie is like, figures out that Lottie hasn't been able to sleep. It's weird because when I write them, I kind of imagine I'm in the space that I'm writing in, just because the most important thing to me when I'm reading a book is that I can like feel um, the atmosphere and the texture comes across really well. I find the best way to do that is if I, I imagine I'm in that space. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It is the 3rd of November. I'll show you what I've done so far. So I finished the segment I was working on yesterday um, and I moved on to the next chapter. So it's about 2,000-ish words. So usually what I like to do is work chronologically so I'll just go straight through in the time order it goes in. But obviously sometimes I'll see, feel like sudden inspiration for a scene and I just have to write that scene right now. Um, and usually that means I'll just have my phone on me. So hold on, let me show you. So this entire section of notes here is like scenes 
I take my fancy, so I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Bum, 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 that's all you get of a very, very important scene from later on in the book. So right now I'm writing the uh, etiquette class scene, which I'm very excited about. This is one I've been waiting to write for ages, and it's also where she meets Edmund Ashwick, who is an important character who you will find out about. Also, lol. Since I got back in November and I've like devoted my life to writing, this is the state of my room. I must clean it because I cannot work in dirty spaces when I'm having to work in the living room. But yes, oh dear. Hey, good evening everyone. It's like 9am in England. So I'm in Tokyo again and um, oh, I just ordered room service. I'm literally only here for two days two days but basically i'm just decided to use this time i'm not even gonna go shopping or anything i mean i literally just got back from tokyo like two weeks ago i'm not gonna use this time to shop i'm gonna use this time to write so uh i thought order room service and literally just chill out in the hotel and write non-stop i finally hit 50,000 words so i'm really excited and then also i'm flying like business class which is very <laughs> nice i've never flown business class before so i'm like oh Okay, so I've just been at the Ghost in the Shell event and I'm also very proud of myself because um, I finished the fencing chapter, which is like one of the most important chapters in the book. So, oh, my mouth is So I've decided to... <laughs> it's like really steamy in here, oh my gosh. So I've decided to reward myself by having a bath. Ta da with a hot chocolate and some chocolate cake and I'm gonna bring my laptop through and watch some Freaks and Geeks as well because sometimes you need to just like finish a chapter and be like, okay, I've done that now, I can relax. I'm really bad at doing that, especially because um, I like to end every chapter on like a very like high energy area so people like feel like they wanna read more and it's hard as well as a writer because then it makes me wanna like write the next chapter as well. So I have to just stop myself sometimes and be like, no, it's time to rest. That's what I'm gonna do. All the chocolate. Seriously, just look at this bath, that's huge. You could fit like a million people in here. A million connies. All right, good morning guys. So I'm about to fly to San Francisco um, for some work with Disney, but this is another good solid 11 hour flight, which I'm gonna try and get as much writing done as possible. But what was I gonna say? Oh my gosh, I just wanna tell you guys, last night I finished writing one of the scenes I was most excited about, which involves a pool. So you guys are going to know which scene that is. And ah, I'm so excited for you guys to read it. Oh my gosh. Secrets, secrets on the screen. Also, I'm approaching 60,000 words now, so that is just bonkers. Never written so many words in my life. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm on my flight, 11 hour flight, San Francisco, but Becky is on the So yeah, I've got 11 hours, and I'm gonna try and write 3,000 words. <laughs> Ambitious. That's ambitious, but I mean, I've got to set myself like high goals, you know? I've got a whole 11 hours, so the trick is going to be, let's see how much I can write. And by the way, feel free to wing any of it over I will, I will, I will make sure that she's Yeah, yeah, <laughs> make sure I get my work done. I'm excited, because I'm at like a really exciting bit right now that I'm writing, so I just want to get on with it. 11 hours. I want to get so much done. Yo, we arrived at our hotel. I didn't write 3,000 words, I wrote 2,700 words. I think I can live. I think that's good enough. I like isn't it? Live. I like Thanks, live. Becky. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. So, there has been a little hurdle that we are having to jump over, a little obstacle in this uh, book writing debacle in that I uh, managed to get myself run over by a car. So, I'm not going to let it stop me. This is actually, could have been a lot worse because luckily the project is something I can just do sitting in bed. But the issue has been that the pain medication makes me really sleepy, but then the pain would make it difficult to concentrate. So I had to find this like perfect balance between um, pain and sleepiness to be like in a mindset where I could write. But yeah, I'm considering myself very lucky that the project is something I can do from my bed, otherwise this would just be a complete disaster. I basically missed out on about a week of writing because I just haven't been able to do it with all this broken leg stuff. But 
I'm going to think of it as I can be the girl who like broke her leg and still managed to get her book done. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So, hmm, what's the date? It's the 9th of January and I'm about four chapters from the end, which is like, so yeah, I'm on my way to have a meeting with Penguin, who are my publishers, and talk to my editors. I really want to send them what I've done, but I also kind of want to wait until it's completely done, which I'm hoping will be next week. Next week, I will have officially finished my first ever book. <laughs> but when I say finished, I don't mean completely finished, it's just my first draft, and then it has to go into editing, and I'm going to be adding all these little bits at the starts of the chapters, which you'll know about when you read. So... It's just really the very beginning. There's so much more to do. <laughs> Though writing a book isn't necessarily the entire element of publishing a book. So today we're gonna to be talking about all of the other stuff. So like how we're gonna promote it. I think we're gonna be talking about covers a bit as well, which is obviously very exciting to me because I'm a very aesthetic person. Also, can we just take a moment? I broke my leg and I'm still getting this book done in great time. I'm really proud of myself. I think I'm allowed to have this moment to be proud of myself. <laughs> All day I've been stressing out about the pacing of this bit in part three of my book. And it turned out all I needed to do was move this one chapter on top of these other two chapters. And then obviously I had to go and like rework those other two chapters. But it is so much better now. And I'm so relieved. <laughs> Hello everyone. It is currently 8.30 on... January the 15th. More than a month past my deadline. <laughs> but that's fine. I broke my leg. It's fine. I'm trying real hard to be a good writer, but I've been distracted by the we are number one meme. <laughs> it is January the 16th. It's a Monday. Anyway, so I am like actually gonna stay up tonight until this book is finished because I've only got like two chapters left. And really, like, a chapter usually takes a week, but I feel, because it's the finale and it's all like, blah, 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 I can definitely finish this all tonight. But I was writing this bit that involves a van, and I was like, hmm, maybe the van should actually start. Like, usually I have everything written down in bullet points, so I was like, maybe it would be better if the van starts. So I asked you guys in a poll whether the van starts, and it's a unanimous, unanimous yes. So the van starts. Thank you for participating in the ending of the book. Thanks guys. <laughs> I just finished writing the most stressful, exciting chapter and now I feel emotionally drained. <laughs> but now I'm nearly done. <laughs> mm. Look how pink I am in this lighting. So pink. So. It's like 3 a.m. and I didn't finish again because <laughs> I tried to finish yesterday as well. But it's fine. I have, I reckon, under 2,000 words left. So I will definitely finish it tomorrow. It gets to a point where it's, you're so tired that everything you're writing is just absolute gibberish and you're going to have to rewrite it again anyway. So what's the point? So. I will finish it tomorrow when my brain is working again. Yes. Sometimes you just gotta know when to quit. Thanks for telling me that, Steven Universe. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is <clears throat> five o'clock on the 18th of January. I'm like three days after I said I was gonna finish this and about a month after my deadline, but I just finished. I finished, I finished, I finished my first book. I feel like my soul transcending out my body. This feels better than when I finished my dissertation. Way better. This ended up being 84,189 words. So next thing on my agenda is serious editing. It now goes over to my lovely editors Holly and Ruth and we're gonna plow through it, see if there's any spelling mistakes, which I'm sure there are, and yes, it will be with you guys sometime. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for being so incredibly patient with me while I've been writing this book, because I haven't been able to tell you what I've been doing, but I haven't been as physically active in the YouTube world while I've been doing this, but my passion comes first, my passion is this. But you guys, 
have been really great and really supportive and now you can know why. And I'm a little bit giddy, that's why I'm struggling to talk, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. What I'm gonna do, actually, honestly, what I really wanna do more than anything is have a really long bath because I haven't had a bath in five days trying to get this book done. That's so bad. So I'm gonna go have a really, really long bath. Amazing. I'm so happy. Amazing. It's finished. Whew. I really hope you guys like it.